Jurassic Clark has struck again, and this time we're using Vol'jin the Shadow Hunter in order to help us tame some dinos. There's a few different ways of pulling off this combo, but there's one general way of being able to achieve the dino combo. Essentially, you're trying to get a Emperor discount on your on your Spellstone, onto your Shadow Hunter Vulgent, as well as a Storm's Wrath. And I'll explain why we need the Storm's Wrath here in a second. But essentially, the idea of this combo is to play Vulgent with your hero power, and then you're able to pull the Charged Devil Sword from your hand for essentially, you know, five mana. Then you get to play the Storm's Wrath onto it to make it eight attack, and then you get to play the Spellstone while while it's fully upgraded in order to summon three more devil sores hopefully with eight attack if you play this uh, storm's wrath with it so that way you can deal 32 damage to the face now the reason that i say this combo is flexible is because you can technically do this without any mana discounts but then you need to use both copies of your lightning bloom in the same turn in order to pop off the combo because you do need to use your hero power with this particular combo and i decided to go with more of a control style of deck because this is just one of those decks where you need to be able to stall the game as much as physically possible and this is kind of where the interesting deck building comes into play because unfortunately with vulgin you really can't have too many minions that don't get immediate value because it, say for example if i were to put like colite oracle or something in this deck if colite oracle is like the last card in my deck and i don't draw what i need until like essentially i have you know colite oracle and all the other minions then suddenly i have to play a draw card when i'm at when i'm at fatigue and that's not really something that i want to do so i really tried to uh, to challenge myself to put as many different spell cards into this deck so that way the minions that we pull from vulgin are always going to hit charge devil sword but I hope you guys enjoy this drastic amount of damage. If you're impressed by this combo, feel free to like and to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see more combos just like it. The deck code is down below for anyone who wants to try out this particular combo, although I would highly suggest to try optimizing this list. This is definitely not the most optimal version for this combo. And if you ever want to try and catch these clips live, we stream at twitch.tv backslash Clark Hellscreen. I hope you guys enjoy releasing Jurassic Park with Shadowhunter Vulgin. And we'll see you for the next video. Ascent uh, ancestral knowledge into lava shock could be pretty useful. Hmm. Come on, what else are you gonna do? Yeah, there's nothing else you can do. Thank you. Like, my only question is if he's going for the Cthulhu cards, what else is this guy going for if he also runs the quest? Seems kind of like a weird combination, if you ask me. Like a little bit, like, too much of everything. Alright, there's the Spellstone. Now we're in business. And if he kills the Totem, then I don't care. In fact, I kind of might just kill the Totem myself if he doesn't. But I need him to deal a little bit of damage to it. Just one HP. One HP less. How dare you. You're gonna heal me, right? Cause healing me actually kind of makes somewhat, uh, like somewhat of a uh, sense here. All right, it doesn't heal me. Diabolini, thank you so much for that follow. Hope you're having a good one. Oh, wait, no, Diabolini. Not my bad. I somehow didn't notice that was Diablo. But somehow, uh, but regardless, thank you for coming on by. Hope you're having a good one. Don't mind my bad reading skills. I'm just a stupid American who can't read. Kek W. Uh, hmm. uh, let's see here. You could do math though. I could somewhat do math. Who wants, who wants to lead some class in some math? Plague of Murlocs, just for later? Uh, I need to get rid of one more card, which I might have to get rid of this. Another Lava Shock? Oh, wait a minute, no, I screwed up. Oh, I should have killed the totem. Ooh, this is gonna this is gonna backfire. Oh, this is gonna backfire, isn't it? Okay, all right, all right. Never mind. The game is saving me. The game is the game is saving me. So, I think I actually just need to hit lightning bloom now. Lightning bloom and storm's wrath. My hand is full. All right, that's fine. I can burn one. I can burn one. Let's see here. So I think I just have to kill this. It's getting it's getting too insane. It's getting too ridiculous. I'm just gonna meme on my opponent. I don't need that one HP, dude. I don't care. 
We're memeing on, on our opponent. Yvonne Jenkins, what's going on, dude? Thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're having yourself a good day. If I can pop off this combo, it'll be for you in particular. And we're actually looking like in a, we're looking at a pretty good set of uh, next turns to where it might be possible. I mean, double knowledge into Lava Shock, is that even possible with nine cards? Probably not. Not with this much mana. Well, he hasn't done anything else. He's played a Psychic Conjurer, and that's it. So let's make some decisions. It's time to move. Well, he has like none of the good cards. <laughs> he has like none of the good cards. <laughs> Quite literally has none of the good cards. All right, let's let. <laughs> oh my god, I actually can't get over the fact that he has like none of the good cards. <laughs> like maybe he'll be able to find something randomly. I don't know. That's about it. That's like the only thing I can think of. Another lava shock. Oh my god, the game is literally spoiling me right now. Yeah, just gonna let him trade here. Maybe the correct play was to try and roll a, a, uh, a spell damage totem and to kill the 3-3, but that doesn't really make a lot of sense because then our opponent just gets just smack us in the face. So no, that was a terrible play. Why would I even suggest that, chat? I'm clearly crazy. A Rash K47, thank you so much for that follow. Hope you're having a good day, man. Thanks for stopping on by. Thank them for the follow, Clark, uh, Clark uh, Hellscream. The notification didn't pop up. No, I did. I thanked them. I, I have the notifications literally right in front of me. I can see it. I always thank everyone for the follow. And if I didn't, then feel free to let me know. And I'll say your name again. And you can easily fool me and be like, bro, you didn't say my name. And I'll be like, guess what? Well, guess what, Snipemare? Thank you so much for following. Good to have you here. Hopefully, you're having a great time as well. It's that simple. <laughs> as long as my, uh, as long as my, as long as I can talk, I really don't care. <laughs> Okay, well, heal, draw, so close yet again. Let's see, his hero power is at five. I have to play something, but I still don't have the Storm's Wrath, so I still can't play this. I could just play some healing. Something else that I could do is like a volcano turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and forgo my other bit of healing. Because I don't feel like healing is gonna matter in this uh, in this matchup. It really isn't. It's gonna come down to the fact of if he plays big taunt minions or not. And luckily I still have like, you know, a Plague of Death and, uh, or I'm sorry, a Plague of Murlocs and a Devolve. Um, but with one less Lightning Bloom, I suddenly can't go for the Devolve out. So I have to quickly set up this combo. To quickly set it up. Okay, I uh, Yvonne uh, also followed. Okay, well, Yvonne Jenkins, thank you so much for that follow as well. Good to have you here. Hopefully, you're having a good a good time. I'm sorry that my notifications didn't pick you up for some reason, but I'm good that you're. I'm glad that you're here, man. My decks are so cool. Thanks, Arash. I'm glad that you uh, that you're impressed by them. Half of them are Ulticons, so Ulticon, feel free to uh, to make yourself known. He's got a Twitter account as well that I should probably find the link to, but regardless, Ulticon comes up. He came up with this combo in particular, and then I slightly touched it because his combo originally had Rockbiter, and I decided to just put Storm's Wrath in the deck to make it one Emperor tick uh, so much more consistent. If my opponent literally is just going to sit here and do nothing, I will gladly take this. Hi, Dex. Your Clarks are so cool. <laughs> Does that mean the pilots? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Come on. I've had so much good luck here. All I need now is the Storm's Wrath, so that way I can throw this down. I still need to hit the other Lightning Bloom. It's 
something has to come down. I think this is fine. I know I like keep tossing out my healing every single turn, but like what else am I supposed to do? A card has to come down and I don't need healing against a priest matchup. So like I could hit this here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just choose not to because he has to hit it twice or use two cards into it. Hey Clark, have you tried winning? I, I can really recommend it. Oh man, I didn't think about that. That's gonna not make me win the game, is it? Cause he gets to hit me for another four. Never lucky chat. I actually have like no healing left in my deck. So this could become problematic. Well, I think this is gonna be a volcano turn. Yep, volcano turn. Where is my Storm's Wrath is my only question. I'm gonna hold on to the Lava Shock for now because maybe I can make use of the damage. I've actually had more success in not playing Hearthstone. Well, what exactly have you been up to, Salty? Or if, uh, if you're not been playing Hearthstone, what have you uh, been dabbling in? Give me the Wrath, please, and thank you. Thorson can come down and just make this game easy to win. There it finally is, all right. So if a minion sticks, we've got this. If a minion sticks, we finally got this combo. If a minion sticks, we finally got it. 32 damage. 32 damage. A minion, just one minion. One minion needs to stick. All right, this is kind of scary because if he does, if he kills all my minions and also, oh no. Oh, don't, don't get rid of Lightning Bloom. Lightning Bloom I can't get rid of. Please, no. Wait, the Thorson's still alive. Oh my god, he kept the Thorson alive. <laughs> All right, well, guess what? The combo is now in hand. The combo is now in hand. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I have I have the uh, the, mail, the the totem. The totem has to, has to come down. I actually don't have it yet. Uh, hold on a minute. This is actually kind of a problem. Because now I don't have enough mana to do this. For my glory. I could transform, but why? Is there any way that... I guess I could just play Hag of the Scheme after I attack. Is there any way that I leave Sylvanas alive? We can't overload ourselves. You know, if I just literally let this proc, then I can play this with it next turn, right? So then I don't care. So literally just gonna hero power. Because I actually don't care what happens here, right? And I could even like play a minion now with the portal. But regardless, th I have to play this because I, I have to play the rest of the cards. But now I have definitely enough damage. Mass spell, doesn't matter. If anything, yeah, he, he takes a copy of this, I can trade into here and then he takes this. All right, Jurassic Clark strikes again. Jurassic Clark strikes again. Let me just make sure I have enough uh, enough for this. Okay, yeah, I have I have enough to pull this off. This is overloaded. Yeah, this is enough. This is enough. <laughs> Here we go. Bam. This is why Bulletin's such a cool card. <laughs> Oh man, I'm just really glad I didn't have any taunts, because that's cheating, right? Taunts is cheat. <laughs> oh, I love Vol'jin.